and welcome back to the channel, man. Glad you're all here. We'll start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers I've gotten over the last 24 hours. Really appreciate you guys. And also, I appreciate all my current subscribers. Today's video is going to be a little bit about an update on the vehicle itself. A lot of you guys are following it. A lot of you guys are asking questions and making cool comments. And I really appreciate all the interaction that you're giving to me about the car. Especially the one to the guy who commented on using etching primer. You are 100% correct. Um, I do have etching primer, and it's right here. And I will be going over some areas. Now, this this is for bare metal. Um, I have used it in the past. There are a few spots in this car that I will be going over again with this. So thanks for that tip. Thanks for that reminder. But we have a bunch of things we're working on today. We got interior components we're working on. We have the headliner. We have the dashboard. Uh, we have we installed the new steering wheel. Uh, we have we kind of picked the color choice for the car, but we want you guys' interaction. We'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, the current state of the car right now is still a primer. I have not sanded it. I have gone ahead and done some touch up to the front bumper of this thing. It had a lot of nicks and had a lot of things in it. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but that's it. Did a few touch up areas. It's not that bad, but there's a few areas I did not appreciate or like that I think I could have done better. And I just used a real simple, um, filler compound for that. Um, as you see, it's still in primer. We have not sanded it. Uh, I have a lot of other things I'm working on. I'm having, I developed a carburetor issue. Um, it's overloading. So that's an issue I got to work on. I still have to put the fans in. Like I said, yeah, everything else on a car is done. The suspension, the brakes, the engine's about 99% except for the fuel delivery issue that I'm having with the setting unit in the gas tank. So I'm still working on that. It's giving me a, a, a guy a headache, man. I'm taking Advil like crazy, but it does run. Um, I'd love to fire it up for you, but it's, very obnoxious, but you will see this car driving down the road here soon. All right, first of all, the dashboard. I'm going to throw a picture right now, boom, of what the dashboard used to look like. Now, you can go ahead on eBay or some other company, wherever you can find one, and you can buy yourself an original equipment uh, dashboard, or you could buy a brand new one or, you know, get a good used one. I have a simpler solution to it. The original was in bad shape but it was in one piece. The metal was still there, the foam was still there. I just took some spray. Now I didn't show you how I did it, and I should have, but I just went ahead, I took some expanding foam to it, I filled in the cracks, and then I just cut that down and sanded it down, make it a flat surface. Come with me. Now you just saw the original dashboard. This is a new dashboard. No, this is not a brand new one. This is just an overlay to the original dashboard itself. That's all it is. I picked this up off of eBay for $41. $41 and maybe a couple bucks in shipping and tax. It's just a thin piece of plastic that slides over. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these. You could buy them for pretty much any vehicle back in the 80s and 70s. You know, the old Camaros, the Firebirds, uh, especially the, the third gen Firebirds, they always cracked because they're so big. And they cracked down the center. And I think it's really cool. It's just a thin layer that you lay on top and you can either self-adhesive uh, tape or you can glue it. I used a really good uh, glue adhesive on this. I put probably, you know, five pound weights on just to hold it down last night till it dries. So this is solid. This is good. Um, like I said, it's 41 bucks. It, go, it goes ahead and makes the dashboard look brand new. And this is really easy to do. Uh, very affordable. I get a lot of things off of eBay. And I think this is a great refresher instead of spending hundreds of dollars on a brand new dashboard when you can simply spend 41 bucks in a little bit of time and recondition your original one. Now, on to the headliner and the side bolsters for the back speakers of these. Now, you know, I showed you before, these are the vent visors to the car. That's the original color of the car. Whoops, don't step on that. These, this is the original to the car. That's the original color. And this is what it looks like. It's all dried up. It's cracking. It's falling apart. Um, I could purchase new ones of these off of eBay as well. They're like 60 bucks for a set. I'm doing a flip, guys. You know, I'm not doing a Barrett-Jackson restoration here. I'm, I'm trying to keep it on a budget because I know paint's going to be expensive. I'm doing all this work myself. So 
I got to be creative. And it's good to be creative when you're working on your own stuff in your own garage. You know, if you come up with an idea and it works, that's great, man. If you're getting the same results that you would by spending high dollar money, then it's a great idea. Now, what I did was take, I went to Hobby Lobby, which is right here in town. Really cool store, man. I got a lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of good materials. So I went ahead to Hobby Lobby and I bought myself just a couple yards of material. Matches the color of the interior. And I went ahead and I redid the bolsters on the side of the car on the interior where the speakers sit. And I'll show you that in the car. Now I also have, and like I said, I just cut this down. I stretched it, it's real pliable, and just used uh, spray glue. You know, tack up both sides, I turn around, I folded it, and boom. When that's in the car, you'll never know it. And you can also scotch guard this too if you wanted to to keep moisture and water or, or pop or anything off, off of it. But I went ahead and I bought three yards of black. It's cheap, guys. 17 bucks. 17 bucks. I think I have $20 in material for this car, for the interior. And we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I do it. We're going to recover the headliner with this material here. And like I said, this is it's thick. It's durable. It has a little bit of a stretch to it. It's real good for gluing. I have done this many times on headliners of old cars. Um, I've used this kind of material. I've used felt. I've even used bed sheets in the past. You know, you can use your imagination. Again, we're restoring cars. We're flipping cars. You know, we're, we all have jobs. We all work hard. We all have, you know, kids, lives. And you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on this stuff to make something look good. So you got to think outside the box. So for years, I have done my interiors with stuff like this. And it's gotten rave reviews. People love the work that I do as far as doing some interior work. <coughs> now let's get on into the interior. Now the interior is complete. As you notice, we also got ourselves a new steering wheel. Now that also came off of eBay. That was only $40, $47. So <laughs> under $50 for a steering wheel, you know, I think that's pretty good versus the $300 that they wanted for the factory original. And yes, you can go on eBay. I love eBay or Amazon or anything like that. And you can have a Z28 button made for the center if you if you desire to change it to Z28. Now the interior is in one piece. It's all together. Everything is there. Nothing's really busted up. I mean, as far as broken. And we're, and we're lucky for that because even the shipper is still there in one piece. It still has the gauges and all that or, or the gauges in it. You know, the, the uh, letter in there. As you see, there is a rip. There is one little rip right here. And yes, I will be repairing this as well. But it works. It opens and closes. Uh, the, the, the actual shifter ball is still here, which is amazing. A lot of guys take this up with an eight ball or some crazy ratchet looking weird little tykes and the Mattel thing on there. But I'm glad this is still original. Um, we did add, I didn't, I didn't record it. I didn't film it because a lot of it's time restraint with me, but I did go ahead and put a brand new heater core in this. So it does have a new heater core. And, and like I said, any of you guys don't know how to do these third gens. They're a pain in the butt, man. Trying to install these is a pain in the butt, especially when you're trying not to crack the box because there's two screws up top. They're just a pain in the ass to get to. But you got to be a, a sleeky man or a gumby and get in there and got it. But I got those two screws out and we got a new heater corner. So we took care of our heater and our water issue. The carpet is original to the car. Um, I'm keeping the carpet in it. I have not decided if I wanted to stay or uh, spray stay in the carpet. You can buy um, an aerosol cans with you know, dyes and all that. I might do the seats, I might not. I might do the carpet, I might not. I have not decided yet how far I'm gonna go. But we're gonna focus our attention on this headliner. We're gonna slide in this new dashboard, see how this fits in here versus what it used to look like. And again, if you look at these door cards, these door cards are in perfect condition. There's no rips. You got a little bit of sun flexing right here. But again, it's not bad. It still works, it still looks good. It's still in one piece. Everything still works. So I'm surprised. Seat belts come in and go, interact greatly. So as you see, like I said, I made these bolsters for right here. I don't know if you can see that with the light, but we made new ones of these. We're gonna end up putting new speakers in here as well. But all in all, the interior is in great shape. Nothing is broken or missing. So we have a great foundation here. You know, everything is still good. Nothing's living in it, thank God. No homes, no condominiums for mice. But that's where we're at with the interior. 
We're gonna go ahead and throw this dashboard in here real quick, just to see how it looks and how it fits and how it forms. Uh, so you give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now, the original dashboard has mounting screws underneath here. And there's probably half a dozen, or like four or five, six of these screws that go up underneath the dash and hold it down. And as you see up top, we have one, two, three, four of them up there that attach through holes right here on the dash. Now, I did not want to cut and drill a bunch of holes into this itself. Now these have some weight to them. Um, the front here is pinched up against the windshield, so it's not gonna be flopping and moving around. So we're gonna go see how this thing fits on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's great. It's great. Look at that. And yes, we can still use, you probably can't see it, but you can use the, I'll grab my light. You can use the original mounting hole, which is here, right there, right there, and a couple over here. So yes, we can screw this down like it was original. Now, like I said, this is the original dashboard, but it's just a $41, $42 cover. And you can arm roll it, you can clean it like you normally would. Uh, it's still nice and soft like the original was. But again, it's just a little <whistles> slip over. Um, let's move on to this headliner. All right, we have our piece of material cut out. We went probably five or six inches past each way. Now. Guys, you can use your own imagination on how to, how to refurbish this kind of stuff. Uh, I have been doing this for years. Like I said, you can use pretty much any kind of material. Um, you can use felt, you can use this. Like I said before, you can use bed sheets. You can do whatever you want as far as doing your headliner. Now, the nice thing about this one is, is the foam is still in one piece. It's not broken, it's not cracked, it's not missing any of the corners. Now, it will be a pain in the, in the ass when it comes over here to with the seatbelt area. But we have our piece slide out it's just big enough and again it is material so it's going to get dirty it's going to get dusty i'm working on a dusty floor you know i'm not worried about being too sterile so when this is all done you can take like a lint roller or something like that to it or a wet uh, wet rag and just wipe it down but this is going to be good now i'm just using your regular permatex automotive headliner adhesive this stuff is pretty wicked i have used this for years on all of my interiors any kind of um fabrication of interiors that I've done, headliners, bolsters, seats, uh, anytime I want to stick something down, you know, dashes and all that, it works really good. If you want to check it out, really good. Now you want to be able to coat both sides. Now I'm going to show you how I do this. Like I said, some, some may agree, some may disagree with what I'm doing, but I have gotten nothing but good results. You just have to take your time. And, and, you know, use your imagination. You know, you don't have to use high dollar uh, materials to, to update your vehicle's headline or update any part of your vehicle inside. You know, you can use basically materials you see in your own home or like I said, Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that, some sort like that, and buy your own. You can pick any color you want. Um, to me, like I said, for under $20, we're going to refurbish this headliner. I'm gonna put it back in the car and it's gonna look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and spray this top part here. Now, I cleaned this off the best I could. As you can see, it's still kind of coming apart. Now, when I spray this with glue, <laughs> this is never gonna move again. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray this first layer on, fold this over, and then we're gonna go from there. Now you wanna add, you know, be generous with it. Don't be stingy. Now it is kind of fumey, so you might want to wear a mask because this stuff can give you quite a contact high. I like putting a nice coat on it. Let that set up a few minutes, a few seconds. And of course, I'm gonna hit this as well. Just a little bit, not as thick, just, just, just to help it stick to it. 
just like so. Just like that. I'm gonna give that a minute. We're gonna fold this over. Now, remember this is foam and this is material and this is glue, so you really don't wanna push down too hard because you don't want the glue to seep through the material. So we're just gonna fold this over, just like you see it. And that's it, just like that. Pull it tight, the stuff is pliable, you can move it. Yeah, just like that. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, stick there. There it goes, there it goes. And like I said, you can use an iron to get the rest of this out, any of these creases as well. Just like that. Stretch it. That's the beauty of this material, because it stretches. Boom. Anything you see on there will also dry as well. All right, guys, there you have it. I didn't show you the tedious work, but I think you got the idea. We got the headliner done. It looks awesome. It's perfect. It worked out great. Cut the slots out, put the seat belts back in. It's nice and clean. Now, like I said, for under $20 and some material and some spray glue and a little bit of patience, you can recover up your own headliner or repair your own headliner, providing that the, the foam and everything is still a one piece. Um, on to other new business. Now, I also noticed on the car, the original Z28 emblems. Now, if you see that, it's just, they're supposed to be um, red, gray, and orange. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's red, gray, and orange, or maybe it's a darker black, or I don't know. Pick your own rainbow. Um, but I made a mistake, and when one of them came off, this was the side that I had to redo the uh, ground effects on. This is the passenger side, and it's broke. And we have one more upset. Now, I wasn't paying attention, I should have paid attention. When I was painting the car, I didn't realize that this emblem was still on there. And uh, yeah, so we, we painted this. Now, luckily, eBay does sell, I love eBay, guys. eBay does sell the trio set emblems for this. And it's just a little pricey, but you can pick the color that's supposed to be on the car. Now, we're going with a red, you know, the color red on this car, so we're getting the two shades of red and the orange. Now, you can get yours made in any color that you choose, whatever your car, what color your car is. You want gray, black, blue, green, purple, whatever color you decide. But we're gonna go with the fire look, which is to two different shades of red and the orange. Now this car also was supposed to come with the, the vinyl striping around or above the ground effects itself. Now that you cannot get. I have researched and I cannot find it, but I do have a company here locally in town that I think can make me a roll of the three inch wide um, vinyl that goes right here along the vehicle above the ground effects. Now the ground effects itself, we're gonna be painting that next. We have a quart of the aluminum gray that's supposed to be on here. So we are gonna be having a video of the ground effects being sprayed, but we have an issue. We have three colors to choose from. Now we have no idea what color to choose. So I'm gonna give you all options. Get you all involved. Option one, option two, or option three. Now they all look similar to of each other. I personally like the first one. It's kind of a more candy. That's more of a darkish, darkish red. And that one kind of looks like one, but it's got a little more orange to it. But my, I'd like to know your guys' opinion on helping us pick the final color of this car. And depending on your guys' comments and depending on guys' choices, we will round them up. And whatever one gets the most, we will pick that color. We'll announce your name and say, so-and-so won this color, and this is the way we're painting it. Uh, but those are our three choices. Now, again, we have a lot more work to do to this car. Um, I'm not going to do this tonight. Tonight, I just want to just demonstrate how I redo headliners. You know, show you how the dashboard works, how we uh, updated that. Real cost effective, forty-one dollars off of eBay. Um, how we did the bolsters or the speaker covers on the back of the car, also with fabric that we picked up at Home Goods or, uh, or Hobby Lobby. Next stage of the car is sanding the car. We still have not sanded it yet. I have, 
I kind of like gave myself a break. You know, I was kicking my own ass the last week, the last two weeks, getting the body work done, burning the midnight oil. Uh, but the body work again is done. Of course, we have a prime. I have the front end, some touch up to do, and I have some touch up on the back to do. And there's a few spots out here that I need to go over again that I didn't notice over the first coat of primer. So the next video you'll see, we'll see the, the interior gone in, all back together, all nice and clean. Again, we're gonna clean the interior, but we're not gonna use any kind of silicones or uh, arm rolls or anything like that. We're just gonna wipe it down with some warm water and be done, because that silicone will get all over the car. And you all know what silicone and any kind of oils does to a new paint job. So we're gonna, the next video you're gonna see, you're gonna see the interior go back together, or actually together, and you're gonna see this ground effects being painted. So lots to do, man, lots to do. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you're all following this. Um, I apologize for not showing you as much more that I have been doing. It's, I'm just kicking ass, man, working, trying to get this done. Um, I just want to throw this in there. There is, again, I have a few people that have messaged me about when am I taking my next adventure. Adventures Bound, that's the, the name of my channel. <laughs> adventures Bound is not just taking adventures. It's, again, it's projects, it's this, it's building engines, it's all kinds of cool stuff. Kayaking, hiking, mountain climbing which I've done any of that yet. I've been focused on taking care of these flips during the winter during the winter months. But I have a huge, huge trip planned for this June into July. Um, you're all gonna love it. You're gonna be surprised on where I'm going. It's always been on my bucket list, you know, just like uh, the Alamo was or Mount Rushmore or, or um, Yellowstone or Tombstone. All those places I've been to on a 30 day trip that those videos are lower down on my channel. If you go screen down, you'll find all those trips that I took or those stops that I made for my 30 day trip. So I am taking a huge, huge trip here in the next few months. I have to prep the truck, prepare the truck, prepare myself, uh, get my gear ready, get everything settled in, get everything ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this, guys. You don't want to miss this trip because you're all going with me, providing we still have TikTok. Ha uh ha. -huh. If we still have TikTok, I'll be TikTok live on the majority of my trip of where I am going. So you'll be able to track where I'm at and where I'm going. I'll also do YouTube live so you can also see and interact with me where you see me going. You're going to love this, guys. You're not going to believe it where I'm going, but this has always been something I've always wanted to do. But hey, I rambled enough. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you made it to the end of the show, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let everybody know, you know, that you... I put some cool stuff out there. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching Adventures Bound. Peace.